What's up, YouTube? This is Two Raw Four TV. So, I think I did a video the other day when I was talking about uh, Jason Tatum and how oftentimes when they lose, he's a factor in those losses um, because of his poor shot selection at times. And um, he's not the only reason. Um, this team just isn't, you can just watch this team and tell that they're not playing the same way they did last year. They're not as in tuned and in step defensively as they were under Emea Doka. Um, I get a sense also that they're becoming a little bit too with Tatum and Jalen Brown, though Jalen Brown's been playing better than Tatum the last couple of months. I'd say the last month, month and a half. We are playing better than Tatum. But they become a little bit more ISO-related. ISO-heavy, I guess. And uh, they lost to the Utah Jazz. 118-117. to 117. And with this loss, they fall from first to where they were before. Then they were second. And now the Sixers overtake them and are now third. They're now, they're now third in the Eastern Conference. So, Boston definitely has their problems, man. And once again, in a game that they lose, you, like I said, you could tie it to Tatum. Tatum, I think, took 15 shot attempts or 12. or I looked at it last night. <clears throat> once again, the majority of his shot attempts were beyond the arc. And he shot atrociously. Um... Those step back threes, I, I don't know, man. You're not. I mean, look, you can you can make that shot. Sometimes you can get hot, but you're not Steph Curry. You know, I I, I don't understand why he doesn't mix it up more. You know, mid range, take it to the hole. You know, that's when I think Tatum is at his best when he keeps it to maybe five three point attempts, and then the rest of his shots. Unless he's hot, of course. But in the rest of his shots are mid-range, a few drives, you know, um, gets to the foul line. I think a couple times. That's when Jason Tatum, I think, is better when he mixes up his bag. But when he just shoots threes like that, I don't know. But anyway, Joel Embiid scored 31 points, 7 rebounds, 7 assists, and a 141 to a 121 victory over the Indiana Pacers. James Harden did not play, but it did not make no never mind. And they now have possession of second place in the Eastern Conference. This is the Sixers' eighth consecutive victory. And uh, I think this is Joel Embiid's seventh consecutive game of 30 points on at least 55% shooting from the floor. And for the season, let me check out Joel and B right quick. For the season, Joel and B is averaging 33.5 points per game, which leads the NBA. This would be the second year in a row that he's led the NBA in scoring. 10.2 rebounds, 4.2 assists per contest. And uh, for the year, he's shooting a career high 54.6% from the floor. Uh, he's shooting 35.5% from beyond the arc. And he's shooting 85.5% from the free throw line. So he's really uh, ramped it up from the free throw line this year. He's taking 11.8 free throw attempts per game. And you know, ever since the 2019-20 season when he averaged 23 and 11.6 boards and Charles and uh, Shaq got on him to be more dominant, he's really answered the campaign. He's really answered, uh, I shouldn't say the campaign, he's really answered that challenge. Uh, in the last three seasons, Joel Embiid is averaging nearly 31 points a game nearly 11 rebounds, nearly 4 assists, 1 steal, 1.5 blocks, 52% shooting from the floor, 84% from the foul line, 37% from 3. 
Um, look, I know we get on this guy for his conditioning, coming up short in the playoffs, missing games. Um, we get on him about those things. But this year, he's been relatively healthy. The last few years, Joel Embiid has had campaigns that were good enough to be MVP, but he was not voted. This year, I'm going to be honest with you. Right now, I have him, and as much as I love Giannis, and this primarily comes from Giannis missing some games lately, I primarily have him a nose ahead of Giannis right now in the MVP race. Joker, Joker, he's out of it. I don't give a fuck what ESPN say. I don't give a fuck what nobody says. Joker is a distant third, okay? ESPN and Fox Sports may act like they don't see that they lost five out of six games, but it's funny, they did notice when Philly lost four out of six earlier this year, right? They noticed that. They noticed when Giannis misses games, but magically they don't notice when Joker and them miss games, or Scott miss games, excuse me, but they lose games. Huh? But anyway, if Joker, if, if uh, excuse me, if uh, Embiid wins it, I'm not going to be mad at that. I'm not going to be mad at that because I think right now it's a race between Embiid and Giannis. If Giannis can finish off strong, uh, he, he he's definitely right there. If he can finish off strong, he might even be a nose ahead. Even though the media act like they don't see Giannis, you know. But the only thing about Joel Embiid is, as always, you have to wonder how he performs in the playoffs. Because, you know, it, it just seems like every playoff, he gets hurt. Or something happens. It, it, it's, it's, it's every playoff the last couple of years. He gets hurt or something. Or he gets hurt down the stretch going into the playoffs. So, if this could be a year where he stays healthy, let's see what happens. All right? Now, let me look at the Eastern Conference standings right now, even though it, it, things can still change. But right now, if things stayed the way they were, Boston would play the Nets in the first round. The Sixers would play the Heat. The Bucks would play the Hawks. And I think the Bucks would smoke the Hawks in four or five. I think the Sixers would beat the Heat in six. Maybe even five. I think the Celtics would beat the Nets. But I wouldn't be surprised if the Nets won a couple of games against them. Joe Mazzula is not a great coach. He's not. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Boston, the way they're playing right now, if they get knocked out in the second round. Uh, Philly, you know, they, they seem to have that potential this year to be an Eastern Conference finalist or contend with the Bucs, but you, I just need to see it. You know what I mean? I just need to see it. We know that with the Bucks. We know that they're legit. But anyway, tell me what you guys think.